Okay, this week at the NCPA goes Comedy's Way, an NCPA offstage presentation in collaboration with Comedy Ladder. It's Women Slay Sunday, an all women's lineup that will give you a live stand up comedy experience like no other. Now, this is happening on the 10th of September, 7 p.m. at the Godrich Dance Theatre. Tickets are available now on Book My Show as well as at ncpamumbai.com. Very pleased to welcome Shrija Chaturvedi, Gurleen Pannu and Jia Sethi. Hi ladies, how are you? Well, how are you? Good. I love the, I love that you would call it Comedy Ladder. And Jia, that's what you perform under, don't you? Yes. Comedy Ladder. Talk to me how that name came about first. Um, it was to basically climb the ladder in comedy. So we start with open mics and then you do your 10 minute spots, open spots and then one hour shows. So you're climbing the comedy ladder basically. And how far have you gotten up that ladder? I am the owner. <laughs> <laughs> so you can climb to wherever you want. Yeah, he's at the top of it. Yeah. <laughs> She's I decided to join the ladder as well. <laughs> Lovely. Listen, these are also very exciting times for for lady comedians. And uh, Shrija, Gurleen, both of you did so well in Amazon Prime's Comicstan. Uh, do you find the participation of female comedians in live gigs increasing, at least over the last five years? Shrija, you want to take that first? Um, uh, actually, it was in a healthy space, but uh, right now, feel like the it's uh, again stagnating a bit the ra- ratio between female to male comedian but uh, there's more uh, voices uh, female voices breaking out right now than I feel like ever before uh, there's uh, like more voices that are gaining huge and not just a niche audience like first like female comedians were associated with a niche audience that's not the case we are getting mainstream uh, so there maybe the entry of voices is still a little low uh, but uh, there's many more breaking out right now I feel awesome Goodlean what do you think you're on mute you're on mute <laughs> yeah so nine there I'm Goodlean hi 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 yeah yeah, yeah. Hi, 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 hi. sorry yeah I was not on mute. I don't know why. First of all, I would just like to tell the audience that I'm wearing glasses just to support my yeah. fellow women comedians. <laughs> I am just <laughs> that's how much I love women in comedy. <laughs> that I will, but uh, I'm just uh, yeah. What, what Shrija said, I I agree. I agree to that. And uh, secondly, I've noticed this one thing because now that I've started traveling a lot that uh, the major metropolitan cities where most of the male comedians also come from I think a ra- large number of female comedians are also there like Mumbai, Delhi and Bangalore uh, I would say but in Bangalore also I've seen like most of the comedians have moved from either they moved from Chandigarh or like you know but in other cities I, I also find a little difficult to uh, see uh, like female like there will be like one or two in not, not in every city you'll also like in a few cities so yeah, that's that's a very uh, true that uh, new voices are breaking up, sure. But yes, the influx of uh, new voices is not that much still. I will, I will, I also feel that. Okay, great. So, Jia, what's uh, NCP offstage presentation in collaboration with Comedy Other Women's Slay Sunday all about in terms of the format? Uh, each of you going to be doing your set, walking off stage, or is there some particular theme uh, to the evening? Talk us through that. Uh, so it is, um, I'll be hosting the show and then everyone will come do 10 minutes, 12 minutes and then they'll go. Uh, we're recording it for YouTube and um, it's uh, the ticket for women are cheaper than for men. Ooh. Nice, very nice. Women pay like 500, men pay like 800. This is to encourage more women to come for the show and men show up so that's not a problem. <laughs> I, I thought that I thought that it's a commentary on the paycheck uh, between you know the men and women. <laughs> women anyway, I was paid less, so. No, but but uh, honestly, sport has sorted that out. Uh, I don't know if you girls know, but if you win Wimbledon in the men's, you get as much as what a women's winner would win. Likewise at the U.S. Open, likewise at the Australian Open, and if sport can do that. And the, the women and men can get equal purses. I don't know why entertainment has to be left behind. What do you feel, Shrija? Yeah, I mean, uh, 
uh, like even other sports are i think left behind i'm not sure like that's the same thing in cricket or uh, you're I, right I, it's not the same in cricket it's just tennis that has made a, a stand break yeah, yeah i think tennis, tennis and golf yeah yeah so um so the, I, the, i'm not even sure that uh, it's the same case in football so yeah uh, i think entertainment is slowly getting there crawling there mm-hmm. for sure uh I like mean, in comics then we get uh, get paid the same but you just have to win the show <laughs> <have to> <laughs> yeah exactly so that's, a, that's an incentive it's, it's wonderful <laughs> <laughs> so an indian female comic recently won the comedy festival in edinburgh i mean i didn't know that boost yeah. from the ncp i just told me big ups so ups. how does that make you feel harleen oh very proud very very proud it is such a, like i texted this to aruj also like you make each one of us very proud and i just mentioned that especially the girls because you know coming from a country where there are like most of the comments on your youtube or instagram like they men ladkiyan and ye wo and then just to make a statement in globally was just such a proud moment for me i to felt like i think i had one or two tears as well <laughs> yeah, so, it so, felt so well this is wonderful goodly you are basically from chandigarh aren't you yes yes sir yes, yes. so like anybody who's born and brought up in bombay who spent considerable number of time mm-hmm. you know amount of time maybe decades in bombay the ncp the national performance center for the performing arts is almost like a a home space for us given the number of theaters there are there you always go there for something or the other uh, growing up for you it must be a little bit of a newer phenomenon but what do you feel uh, about that you know coming into the into mumbai and looking at this wonderful complex and performing in one of the theaters at the complex your thoughts yeah i mean uh, obviously like uh, so i got to perform for the first time in mumbai uh, through comics star only otherwise i was in chandigarh and after comics star i went to delhi So otherwise it's a little like the chronology is reversed <laughs> yeah you know you go to delhi first and then you try your five months in mumbai but i never got the chance because i started in 2019 later in 2019 and then covid happened so anyway lockdown happened i did a lot of online mics but i never got the chance to perform in big rooms and theaters so of course matlab it feels like you know surreal sometimes that oh wow <laughs> and then yeah and uh, of course it's it's very different like coming uh, uh, from like chandigarh chandigarh also has a comedy scene but it just has like one or two clubs but yes when you uh, go to mumbai or delhi you actually realize okay there's so much to it and and jia where you guys are the godrej dance it's very intimate because the audience is almost upon you and you must enjoy that as a, as a comedian yeah we do because also it's the space is uh, closed right so the laugh comes to us beautifully it is a very warm feeling when you're performing there uh, sh- lovely shija i i i spend a lot of time watching comedy i'm a huge fan of of the art and all you people last week i was i was at a gig in bandra where there was a lady comedian who got up on stage and she said listen i'm a uh, my jokes are all family friendly I'm a, I'm a family friendly comedian. <laughs> and I thought she didn't really need to justify that because none of the male comedians say that. Okay, mere family friendly jokes and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh does that happen with you? Do you do you feel sometimes you have to justify it to the crowd or you say I I couldn't give a damn. You know, let them take it or whatever. Uh yeah, like I I'm I've not felt the need to justify it to the audience. but uh, to my family i've had to justify that like, hey, i'm sorry this, this is a art form sometimes we use cuss words we talk about things that we may not talk about at the dinner table uh so yeah like i mean uh, to be fair like a uh, um uh, 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 because uh, like online stand up comedy in general uh, again this reputation of being a lot of cuss words and a lot of like just edgy dark material so a lot of comedians feel the need to justify that hey it's family friendly you can get your grandparents and your parents also to my show because that's like the audience approach is also like that i'm not yeah. saying that okay female like i've seen a lot of male uh, comics also like yeah. solanki for example uses hashtag team comedian on his yeah. <laughs> under his youtube video so yeah. uh, that's because people dm us like i have seen people dming me asking me can i bring my parents or grandparents to the show because enjoy it with the family but then they are very like you know skeptical about it so i also tell them okay yes you should because i mostly am fl- uh, family friendly but yeah sometimes you know yeah sometimes. especially because you end up getting your parents 
and then everything is yeah. going fine and then there is a set of jokes that you do that will pro- probably the younger audience would enjoy, enjoy only and then you see the parents squirming in their seats yeah. are... <laughs> okay you know th- we we haven't got all the comedians in women's day sunday also has dahab has shreya and pavitra so jia you want to just give us a little bit or any of you about about the other comedians uh sure they're all amazing comedians they're all awesome human beings as well um they all have their own style of comedy uh pavitra will become friends with everybody not <laughs> one soul is left behind if anyone's looking for a friend at the rate pavi 212 is your girl <laughs> yeah she will yeah. friends with everyone dahab also will make friends with everyone she's also yeah. adorable uh, yes. shreya she will love everyone Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hub is a mother of the team, I guess. Uh, yes. And yeah. Shreya, you were saying something about Shreya. Yeah. She will make you eat good food. She'll make sure your stomach <laughs> is full always. <laughs> Shreya, is the, Shreya is the one who makes plans. So she'll yeah. she'll know what we are doing after the show. She will be the one. Yeah. She's the yeah. one. <laughs> is going to tell us lovely i i want to know i mean it's a very tough question actually it looks simple at the surface of it what makes you ladies laugh i mean you make the whole world laugh but uh, you know let, let's let's go with gurleen first what makes you laugh oh. <laughs> i i never uh i think i have always said this because she is on the panel also so i will say this shreeja anything she says <laughs> is just hilarious to me and it's not that uh, because i know her now before also like i i remember the first thing i saw of shreeja was the dustbin bit from comics and which i think uh, which is everybody cool. very cool. <laughs> yeah very funny after that anything she says is just hilarious now, right now like and secondly kevin art i think anything he says is like hilarious to me So basically, mean uh, like I come from a Punjabi family, so anything they say is funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Shija. everyday things like makes me laugh. Um, so G and Gurleen make me laugh, of course. <laughs> yeah, wait, <laughs> cheating. <laughs> Returning the compliment. Yeah. Cheating. But like in in general, anything that basically catches you off guard, you're just like, wow, I did yeah. not expect a joke at this point at at all. So yeah, like a I don't know. I enjoy Uncle Aunty humor a lot, um, uh, despite doing uh, none of it. My I don't know how how do I explain it. Just stuff that randomly your parents would say in a situation yeah. with no irony. They may not tragedy even tragedy makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, As a woman, tragedy, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the surprise element also, you know, it's yeah. is not expected. कि आज कहाँ छेड़ेंगे हम? Big reveal. <laughs> so for Jia, for, for you Jia, it's the surprise element you said. Yeah, That's I what makes like it. I like making men feel a little uncomfortable for me. <laughs> Why <laughs> not? <laughs> She loves it. I, I think you don't feel like it. You love it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a devilish laugh also that Jia does after. <laughs> Yeah. Now we know the so real I... modus operandi, modus operandi behind comedy ladder. <laughs> In the previous show, I also mentioned that uh, it's funny to me that men are paying more to watch women talk. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, guys. Tenth of September, seven p.m. at the Godrej Dance Theatre. Tickets are at Book My Show now. They're going out fast. It's a limited venue, so go uh, rush. And of course, at bookmyshow. dot com. An NCP offstage presentation in collaboration with Comedy Ladder. It's Women Slay Sunday. Gurleen, Jia, Shreeja, who you've just met uh, here, and of course other comedians, Dahab, Shreya, and Pavitra will join them. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for your time. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yes, welcome to this week at the NCP. I have Kalyani Majumdar. She is a violinist from Pune. She joined the Symphony Orchestra of India in August of 2021 as a trainee, and now three years, two years later, two years and some later, she's a permanent member of the SOI. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm good. And also joining also her is a very good. eminent personality, Adelina Hassani. Uh, she became concert master of uh, the South Netherlands Philharmonic Orchestra. In 2002, then as a guest concert master, has worked with orchestras such as Rotterdam Philharmonic, the Hague Philharmonic, Holland Symphonia, the Amsterdam Sinfonietta, the Netherlands Philharmonic, the Belgian National Orchestra, Antwerp Symphony, 
and of course the symphony orchestra of india i have to add as a soloist adelina has appeared uh, with the brabant philharmonic orchestra which is now known uh, uh, as uh, the if i'm not mistaken the south netherlands philharmonic and the tob orchestra of tirana the marchigiana symphony orchestra as well as the chamber orchestras galilee and academia san felice she plays a violin by pietro guarneri of of venice it's called the ex joseph yokim from 1747 that's wonderful thank you so much adlina for giving us a bit of your time hello no it's a, it's 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 my pleasure thank also you. also lovers of uh, of western classical music and fusion music you'll be very very pleased to know that adlina shall return to india on the 23rd and 24th of september which is barely a month from now and she will be concert master at the triple concerto which is composed by the great ustad zakhir husain and it also has niladri kumar who is not just a sitarist but a zitarist because he's converted his sitar into kind of like an electric guitar it's quite a cool uh, you know rocker kind of person and of course it also has the flautist rakesh chorasiaji so th- that must be wonderful and special and that's another great man i mean uh, these are all the sages of music you know the the spiritual faces of music zubin mehta azakir husain please talk to me about that concert you must be excited coming back for that i can only say that i'm really blessed and we are all blessed here at the cbi and thank you mr santo fisher for <laughs> for organizing all of this and um i've had the privilege to work with ustad husain before as well and um that is that is just another it's another dimension it's another world and and uh, i am so ignorant in a way for the for the indian classical music but and i i mean i really i i don't understand it so well but um being able to have uh, to sit so close to maestro to uh, ustad husain when he plays the tabla it's it's just out of this world and he can play anything on that on that little drum you know he can make things come alive it's just beyond beyond the uh, any uh, normal uh, things and um yeah so i'm i'm thrilled that we have the possibility to work with uh, uh we start to sing again and uh, i'm very curious i saw the music and uh the music is very exciting um uh, and very tricky so especially the ragas uh, you know which we are not used in our western sure, classical yes. um that's really very tricky but you kind of try and work it out and uh, and i know that they will be so absolutely spot on on the rhythm so it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be a lot of fun as well except uh, and not not only a great experience but uh, a lot of ent- uh, fun on stage with on this stage. big uh, big people absolutely the symphony orchestra of india has completed 17 years that's right 17 years this year another special uh, moment for the orchestra because there is a, a tour of europe that's coming up they're going to be playing select venues in europe and the united kingdom kalyani you must be very excited now get yes, now traveling with the sri absolutely i'm very very excited and and Kale- and adlina you must be looking forward to that touring with an orchestra is a whole different ball game as opposed to you know being in the home uh, state or the home place of the orchestra absolutely instead of being the home turf now we are all on the same boat you know as as they are saying so we are all doing the same travel and we are all sitting on the bus getting off the bus hotels together and then you go you do the concerts and that's going to be very special and it's a very demanding uh, tour for the orchestra really and um, and the orchestra is really uh, incredibly um, you know uh, only serious orchestras can do this kind of tour that the SOI is going to do now in in November December in Europe no i mean this is serious uh, stuff so i think uh, a lot of congratulations to the orchestra for being able to do this uh, this incredibly tough schedule tour and incredible tough programs and um yeah and it's it's the third tour i think that i'll be doing with the orchestra i've had the privilege to do the uh, swiss tour so the orchestra toured in switzerland and that was great but that was the same program so that was uh, good but last time we toured in uk we had two different programs with two different conductors 
And this time, the orchestra, you see, it's getting better and better with these three different programs, incredibly demanding programs for the orchestra, and with three different conductors and uh, soloists. And um, so it's going to be, I think, it is, it is only a, a serious symphony orchestra is able to do what the symphony orchestra has been yet doing. So kudos to the orchestra, absolutely. That's Adelina Asani. She's concert master, and along with a uh, Kalyani Mujumdar, who's a violinist at the Symphony Orchestra of India. Thank you, ladies, for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.